Kenneth, this is your senior season, the second half of your senior season, and there's this conference losing streak kind of hanging over this program. Kind of talk about how you're trying to get the underclassmen to help you guys uh, snap that streak before you get out of here. Um, um, I just keep keep on encouraging them. I mean, like, I, I tell them every day, like, you got to grow up. Um, I experienced some bad times my freshman year, and um, it's, it's, it's nothing similar to their situation. They just got to grow up and just play ball. I mean, they came to the Pac-12 to play. I mean, I, I think it's the best conference uh, in the country. So you just got to play ball and just got to um, go out there and play. Obviously, you guys struggled a little bit when Arizona brought in the, the run first quarterback. Um, this week, you face another run first quarterback. What kind of positives can you take from watching that film against Arizona? Um, a lot. Um, well, these three week, past three weeks, the quarterback's been like similar. And um, one of our defensive goals is to stop the run. And um, we feel like the coaches gave us the right plays, um, put us in a great position to stop those plays. Just we didn't execute. Um, um, we, we we didn't clog up the gaps we were supposed to, and we didn't have, we had the wrong pursuit angles. And now we're taking it in consideration on getting better, and um, just watching film more. And the coach is trying to put the best players in position to make them plays. Ken, when you're on a losing streak like this, can losing sort of seep into a team's identity or their DNA? And if so, how does the team cure it? Um. Um. We, we're very frustrated right now, but I mean, we just got to keep playing. We believe in ourselves, and Coach Mack believes in us, and we're just going to keep striving for greatness. Um, we, we, we know that any, any good time, we, we can knock any team off. We, we're as better, better as those teams, and um, we just got to keep fighting. Ken, I see you as a guy that puts in extra work and things like that. Can you explain to us how hungry you are as a senior and a leader of this team? Um, very hungry. Um, what I experienced the last three years um, wasn't um, wasn't at what I expected coming here. Um, I was a high-profile uh, player coming out of high school, and I wanted those bowl games and those those good those gifts and stuff like that, championships and those things. Because I came from a, a good good high school that won championships. But I mean, kind of seeing our team progress over the years. Um, it's, it's been exciting, and that, that's what I want to see. Um, um, I came, I mean, I switched like views of like us like noticing the team and stuff like that. So as long as we getting better um, for the future, I'm all with, I'm for it. You know, for the future, what, what do you think you guys can do this year to show that the team is making progress for the future? Um, just keep battling. Um, I feel like we're doing a good – we're showing some glimpse, uh, like what we could do. Um, this defense is new. Um, um, with Coach Lava, he's doing a great job implementing it and um, throwing a lot of new things at us. And offense just keep improving. We know we can, we can be a team, uh, offense that, that can score like 50 points a game because we have those weapons. And defense, we got um, incredible players. and. Um, with the new facility, it's gonna bring bring a lot of good guys in here, and we just like we set setting the stage for the future, and I feel like it's going good. Kenneth, talk about the challenge of facing a dual threat quarterback. Obviously, in the Arizona game, they made a quarterback switch that really sort of changed the game. And this week with Oregon State, you're gonna face another quarterback whose ability to run might be equal or even better than his ability to beat you through the air. Talk about, I guess, the challenge facing you, what you learned from last week, and can it help you this week? Um, I feel like they they run a, a similar plays than the team from last, uh, similar plays than Arizona. And I feel like we just got to play. I mean, our coaches, I mean, our corner coach, Coach, coach Clark, just tell us just plaster our receiver. He crossed the line. We just got to pursue and tackle. Um, so um, we just got to read our keys and play them, play them better. You kind of talked about it before, but you want them to start. What do you expect from this team going forward this season? Excuse me? What do you expect from this team going forward this season? Um, just keep believing in themselves. Um, I feel out like at this point, um, we, don't need, we, we don't need no, no uh, 
no talk, no no like pregame talking stuff. We just got to go out there and just do our job and execute. Um, it's no it's no other way to say it. I mean, that's what we got to do. We we grown men now. We came to school just to play uh, D1 f football, so we just got to play.